Hi, Handy here, and welcome to my honest tutorial on Micro KFS. Or maybe I should just say Micro Kubernetes. Okay, so Micro Kubernetes is a distribution by Canonical that allows you to deploy or install Kubernetes uh, fast and easy just to a node. And it's not only available for Linux or Ubuntu, but also for Mac OS and Windows. Okay, so I'm running a Windows uh, system here. So let's just go through it. Okay, so you can download it here. I already downloaded and installed. This process uh, will take you maybe about 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes depending on your internet connection. The installer itself is only 8 megabytes, but after the installation, it will need to download a VM. In Windows, it will download a, a micro Kubernetes VM. And then uh, it will start the VM. So uh, it's taking a long time to download it. But after that, uh, we can uh, start it. Okay. So let's see. After downloading and running the installer, Let's see if this works, okay? So I have a terminal here that I can use. So let's see the status of micro Kubernetes. Okay, so by default, micro Kubernetes will uh, install with only the base uh, modules and there are add-ons that can be added or enabled but of course it will take more memory okay more resources so uh, from the forums I can see that uh, micro Kubernetes will run with at least one gigabyte of RAM and uh, in if using like half a uh, gigabyte it will not work properly but uh, with one gigabyte it can run a bit and the more memory then that means you can have more memory for the pods themselves and also to run more add-ons okay. so let's see uh, if I can turn on standard services Okay, so I'm enabling three add-ons, DNS, dashboard, and registry. And this is um, claimed to be secure by default. Okay, so let's see if I can have, uh, I want to deploy something here, so, okay. Command found. Okay. Um, okay. I think I have to download uh, the cube CDL. Okay, it's already here. I'm not totally sure whether this kubectl is installed by micro kubernetes or I already have kubectl on my computer but now I can try to run uh, this CDL first. Okay, so let me get to the docs of uh, this. Let me just install kubectl on Windows. Windows. 
actually I can also install it using PowerShell which is nice I guess okay uh, I think I will use this way Okay, so let me configure this. Okay, mm. let's see how do I give it a config? Wait, this bundles its own version of kubectl. Oh, I see. Actually, I did it wrong. So, okay. All I have to do is just to do this. Okay. I don't have to install any uh, kubectl command line. Okay. It's already uh, built in in the uh, micro Kubernetes. Okay. So uh, that means I can get the nodes and services. Okay, there's this node. And let's see if we have services. Okay, so now what I will do is I will deploy an app. So, okay, there is this Kubernetes bootcamp. Let's try this one first. Okay. It says it's created. Let's check the status. Okay, it says container creating and start um, okay still waiting to start okay app started now um, okay. so what happens with this about this okay mm explain let's see get part this one uh, how about describe okay so this part is running mm, using this IP and there is no uh, there is no port exposed I guess so let's see what what is this actually okay Kubernetes bootcamp But 
anyway this is uh, this is working so uh, you can use um, any Kubernetes uh, features and I have to say this is very easy uh, to use I've never installed a uh, an entire Kubernetes cluster before just using the managed Kubernetes from uh, Google Cloud but I've never installed uh, Kubernetes in my own computer running locally this is the first time I actually run Kubernetes locally so this is uh, this is very good and very easy and how I can enable different add-ons uh, this, this is very nice and uh, if you are running this on Ubuntu you don't have to use a VM so uh, the pods and containers there will run at full speed and not using uh, a lot of uh, resources sure if it's actually running anything so it's been retired don't know what is this actually but anyway mm, maybe some local host or something okay but anyway uh, I will try to deploy a, uh, a deployment using micro Kubernetes and I will try how to deploy WordPress on micro Kubernetes but on to the next tutorial so this is it you can deploy Kubernetes locally and you can also deploy Kubernetes on your server it can be Ubuntu Linux or any other uh, Linux distributions so I highly recommend this if you want to just deploy any, uh, any container or application that uses docker it's I think it's the easiest way but there is a but if your host has a good uh, RAM so at least one gigabyte uh, I ever try to deploy uh, Docker container with as little as uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, but I'm not sure if that this will work uh, with nodes uh, with VM instances that small. Okay, thank you, and let's go to the next tutorial. See you.